The sitter's my mother. This is 1924. She was seven years old. It's in France, and she was going to school there. At the time, she was there with her family. Her father came over to do the reconstruction after World War I. He was a lumber man, and the family was over there living in France. That's a wonderful bronze, such an appealing subject. The artist assigned it here, it's uh, Paul uh, Trubetskoy, who was sort of a fairly colorful character. The sign dated 1924 and has a foundry mark here, it's a Paris foundry. Mm -hmm. And he was born in Italy, second son of a Russian prince, and his mother was an American uh, lyric singer. Really? Interesting. And it seemed that he was always ahead of conflict. He moved from Russia to France uh -huh. in 1905, then he left France to come to America, uh -huh. and then went back to France. He did a whole variety of subjects. He did animal um, topics, he did uh, famous personalities, politicians of the time, uh, intellectual thinkers, wow. authors and illustrators, but his real flourishing part of his career was doing society uh -huh. portraits. Uh -huh. A lot of artists earn their living traveling in uh, high society and so there are uh -huh. lots of elegant men and women that had their portraits done and obviously these sort of wow. charming young children as well. Well it's so fascinating to hear what you say because it's just been my mom, you know, in our house and I, you know, never really thought about it. Some of the figures that have come up on the market tend to be less personal in nature and more right. sort of recognizable, but it still has a considerable value and if you had to find something by this artist of a comparable scale, you'd expect to pay at a you know, retail price in the $20,000 range. Wow. So it's wow. been a very valuable piece. Wow.